Have you ever thought to yourself, what brands should I stay away from? Well, we got seven different brands that we're going to recommend that you don't try. But here's the thing. Dave's is crazy on the ones he picked. Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are going to talk about brands that we don't like. Yeah, so whenever we were coming up with this idea. <laughs> Disclaimer, my list, he likes some of them. So His list and my list are very different. Yeah. I technically don't agree with any of yours. That's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be hate. And whatever there is, you direct it all at him. Hate, 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 hate. There will hate. be a smidge of hate on mine. I already know the bottle. And I'm fine with that. But whenever you send hate to him, remember, clean me out of it. <laughs> this is only half the kingdom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kingdom is divided. <laughs> this kingdom has been divided. All right. Also, while you're sitting there in the comments putting your hate, uh, make sure that you hit that like button, subscribe, leave no and hit the notification button. Uh, you all go right. first. You, you have four, I have three. All right. Let's 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 go. Ahead. I'll start with this one. Uh, Nulu. Here's what I think about Nulu. Here we go. I don't enjoy it. <laughs> uh, there are things that I. There are things I've liked, some of them. Sure. But because the price point is where the price point is, uh, I have no desire and I just steer clear of it because I, I know that I'm not going to like it enough to want to pay for it. And so mm -hmm. I just kind of steer clear of it because I just don't, I don't enjoy it enough to buy it. So I, I won't say that. I, I agree with you on the price point. I think some of the price points on certain bottles are tough. You know, I always go back to that $150 bottle that was sitting at Total Wine that was a honey barrel. Yeah. That bottle, it, it just always pops on my mind whenever I think price in New Lou. Um, I have had some bottles here recently, or some, I've had some samples of some bottles here recently that were wild and awesome. Um, I haven't had those. But he has not. If you would have went to the meetup at Just House Bourbon, you would have. To. Yeah, that's probably yeah, true. That's not probably. It uh, is very accurate. That is accurate. Uh, with all that being said, it is a tough price point with them. But whenever I think you can find a really good pick of it, it does hit home really hard. I have not found that yet. All right, my next one. This is going to be one of the bottles I get hate on. So whenever it comes to Luxro... I'm just not a fan. And it, if I had a Blood Oath, I'd, I'd put a Blood Oath up here. I haven't had one that I enjoy. I've not had one of these I enjoy. I've not had one of these I've enjoyed. I have tried a bunch and I just can't get there with them. It's just not my profile at the end of the day. Yeah, I don't like this one. You mm -hmm. like the Rebels, though. There are, there are, some rebels that I really enjoy. Mm -hmm. I don't enjoy them all, but I do enjoy some of yeah. some of the the picks of the rebel. I, I do enjoy. So I think it's like the peanut profile. That yeah, I may, it. maybe that's what it is. Yeah, I but just don't. I do love. Good. I do love the cork on this. Um, but oh, that's just me. The bottle is gorgeous. Yeah. The, uh, the bottle is one of the best design bottles. In but all I agree stuff. with you. Like with the blood oath too. I'm just not a fan of the blood oath. We just had. Uh, what number nine or whatever it is nine might be the best one i've had and it was not miserable it's still, whatsoever. yeah it's still not great yeah so yeah i can't fault you for staying away from lux road although hope i mean here's hoping that now that they're under new ownership <laughs> they might be better yeah we'll see uh listen if you've watched this channel at all you know uh my <laughs> despise for this bottle uh and i hate it because I just had like my son just turned sixteen, so oh, I, not not the bottle, the whole the whole yeah the whole the whole thing. Whoever makes Rowan's Creek, Rounds Creek, who make who, who makes it? I, I mean, I don't who know. Makes it? I don't know who say it is. Say its name. Uh, say its <laughs> name and let the hate come at you. <laughs> it's, I mean, from all indications, is it? It's will it. <laughs> <laughs> it's will it. 
Um, and I know there's a bunch of you people who love Willet. I just happen not to be one of them. There are there has been some sourced Willet from some other uh, bottles that I I have enjoyed. Great, um, all time. Some of the best. I would say if I had to do like a a top list of best bottles I've ever had, it would be some of those are sourced Willet. Yeah, without question. So anyway, this is just not one of them um <laughs> not at all I, and i had my annual pour of this just the other day so uh and i choked it down <laughs> with a very sad face look but, on my face but what do you think of their new source like family estate stuff like rye and bourbon mm -hmm. i i would steer pot clear still? of it yeah, that was, i mean pot still is just like yeah. johnny drum no oh bardstown no, I'm just wanting to dig grave. That's why I keep no dig stuff. all the grave. Like put me in, put me in the grave as deep as you. As long as there's no, as long as there's no willet in that <laughs> grave, I'm good. No willet filling it up. Yeah, unless it's sourced willet. Unless it's sourced willet. Fair. All right, my next one. And I've <laughs> look, I have such an opinion about Neely. I haven't even opened up these bottles yet. Um, pretty much anything comes from Neely. Um, which if you all have been paying attention whatsoever um to a certain brand release that came out it had a um <clears throat> yeah that um source neely um all their stuff i've had is super grainy super gravel grainy kind of like it's just it's not my jam and mm -hmm. i'm putting it nice i've actually heard some stuff i think that's like the salted peanut butter with salted caramel salt yeah i've actually People have told me it's good. I just don't believe it. I have to open it. Uh, these were gifted to me. Uh, the person who gave them to me were very sweet, mm -hmm. very nice. <laughs> the people who gave it to you hate uh, you. <laughs> they didn't know. They were kind. <laughs> they hate they you. They were kind. <laughs> were kind people. Um, <laughs> they but, hate you. But, <laughs> like, let's find the worst bottle in the world to give to Zach. They went to the distillery yeah. and got it. Oh, wow. so, I mean, that was a waste of trip. I know. I feel terrible for him. <laughs> yeah. Um, but my point is, is that these, I think they're good people that work out there for sure. I think it's maybe even a fun experience from what I've heard, but it is not an experience or a brand that I've cared anything for that I've had whatsoever. Yeah. So. Uh, here we go. Um, next on my list is. This old, one hurt me more than any other bottle. On your this list. is Old Elk. Um, I. I just haven't had any oak, old elk that I really would just say, man, I gotta, I, I gotta have that. I just, there's nothing about it. I mean, I love the bottle. I think the cork is super cool. Do you remember the cool. Infinity, I'm not even gonna talk about picks, but do you remember the Infinity Blend from two years ago? Did you try that one? I think we tried it, yeah. It tasted like a Brown Foreman product. Yeah, it, I mean, it was, it was fine, but. <laughs> Like nothing to like forget your brand there, forming product. There's just nothing that stands out to to me, and so like I look at it on the like as I go past the shelf, and I'm just like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even wasting my time with that. I just, I, I hope something better comes along with it, but I, as it I, is, it has not been great to me. I will say with the Odell, a lot of the shelf standard offerings I've not cared for. Yeah, I've had a lot of picks I've really enjoyed, like really, really enjoyed. They've been fun. They've been a little wild been tasty at times. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm glad you like them. <laughs> All right. My last one, and this should come to no surprise from anybody. Hmm. Dickel. This is actually one of mine, too. I just. Yeah. Yeah. We agreed on this one. Yeah. Um, well, I know you agree with Neely, too. <laughs> yeah. I agree with Neely. You agree with yeah. Neely. You see, I think of yeah. whatever. Uh, but Dickel, and this is the one, I, I just want to make sure that this was front and center on this because I know a lot of people really enjoy the Dickel bourbon. Um, I am not one of those people. I've tried it. I've tried it multiple times. I've even put it in blinds, see how it's doing a blind. I just have not cared for it. I feel like it always does the same in blinds. I do agree that it might be the best out of all the Dickels. There's just... But the best of the worst is not... It's still not good. There's just a sour rag smell to it that I can't get past. It just... It, it just doesn't go away. No, no. And it's just... It just doesn't. It's All just... Right. Dickel's not our thing. No. 
Uh, and then last on my list, which I'll probably get hate on for this. Oh, as you're well. gonna get crushed on this one too. Uh, <laughs> I love it. Uh, the 1792 <laughs> giant bottle of small batch. <laughs> uh, the, just 1792 in general. I it, we've recommended it before, and I do recommend it because, like. You got to learn your palate. There's some of the lower sure. tier, like small batches is a good one to, again, learn your palate on, figure out what it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I have learned that this is not in my palate uh, preference. And so everything that I've had from them, foolproof, 12 year. 12 years good. Um, what else? The sweet, sweet wheat. wheat. Sweet wheat's good. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's all right. Bottle and bond's okay. Just none of them. Like, I just don't enjoy them, and so I just steer clear of them. I, like, I don't go hunting for them. I don't do anything because I just don't enjoy them. Um, and I'll let somebody else buy those so that I don't have to. That's all I, 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 I mean, I don't have anything else to say. All right, well, uh, tell us, uh, <laughs> kill me if you need to uh, in the comments. Um, but I'm here and I stand by it. I don't care what anybody else says. Uh, and, uh, yeah, tell us what's on your list of yep. I, what you don't like, what what brands that you just kind of steer clear of. Uh, we'd love to hear it. So, and until the next time, we'll see. You. We'll see. You.